You are listening to the UK Preppers Radio Network on KPRMDB UK. I'm your host, Tom Linden. Don't forget to check out my site, by the way, the UK Preppers Radio Network. There are loads of offers, gifts, discounts um, on site. There's a list of um, products that the prepper survivor or the outdoor person could really do with for Christmas. So if you're stuck for a present to buy a friend, colleague or family member, please pop onto the site, check it out. There's loads of kit there. It's all been tested. It all works. And it just does what it says on the tin. Ribs. Ribs Wear actually are offering a 30% discount on the front pack. The front pack or bag simply allows access of equipment from the person's chest. Front packs first and foremost allow for easy access of gear without the removal of any equipment. Now remember the old days when you used to have to stop, take your backpack off, put it on the ground, uh, undo it, try and find what it is that you wanted, and do it back up again, put it back on your back and then carry on walking. Simply with the front pack, none of that happens. You just keep walking and take out what you want. It's a brilliant idea. Brilliant. They're best, I think, um, they're a great complement to any outdoorman's gear. They're really good functionality-wise, mobility-wise, simplicity. They're just brilliant. Imagine horse riding, long distance biking, motorcycling, kayaking, camping, surviving, prepping. I've used them, you know, I've been at picnics, shows, barbecues, uh, gosh, just walking around the countryside with what I need in there. A pair of binoculars, some biscuits, you know, but they're better than that. They're just literally fantastic. They really are. And you're, if you want the 30% discount, you're simply using the code TRAILBLAZE at www.ribswear.com. The Survival Watch Review. Yep, that's right. The Survival Watch is the only paracord survival accessory to offer an emergency whistle, a fire starter with flint, rod and scraper, 12 foot of 550 paracord, a timepiece watch plus a compass. The certainly high quality survival watch for outdoor enthusiasts. Being prepared for the outdoors is now as simple as, well, fastening a survival cord bracelet or watch to your wrist. No outdoor accessory offers the same flexibility and quality as the survival watches and paracord bracelets for sale. Lightweight, durable, a survival watch or paracord bracelet is a clever cost-effective tool that has it all. Survival watch <clears throat> is a multifunctional survival accessory that differs from all other survival products on the market. These survival uh, paracord survival watches and paracord survival bracelets are handmade, innovative accessories no outdoor enthusiast really should be without. Each of the survival watches comes uh, with the following 12 foot of 550 paracord, magnesium flint rod and scraper, 150 decibel whistle, recreational compass, copper and stainless steel timepiece. Now you can simply choose your colour. Whether you're looking for camo survival, uh, camo paracord bracelet or black paracord bracelet, the range of subtle earth tone products won't disappoint. The paracord bracelet accessories are available in the following colours, black camo, olive drab and flat dark earth. And they have really got endless outdoor uses. In a survival situation, a paracord watch band or paracord wristband serves a limitless purposes. Survival watches can start fires, alert nearby rescuers, map out directions and more. The nylon paracord material used to fabricate our watches and parachute cord bracelets is both heavy duty and versatile. With 12 plus foot of material to work with, the uses um, of, for the survival bands include, but aren't limited to, the following. Simply replacing broken boot laces, setting traps, weaving fishnets, making fish line, fishing lines, making a shelter, making weapons, etc. Okay, I know you'll be able to find a lot more uses for them than these. So what do you think of it? Well, 
The truth is, I like it very much, because it means I only need the survival watch and not a separate paracord bracelet. Even if you do wear your favourite timepiece, what's wrong with a spare? A backup if you wish, just in case you need one. It's very easily kept in or clipped onto your backpack if you wish, your EDC or your BOB. The compass does work and when tested against my own watch electronic compass <coughs> and a prismatic one it fared very well indeed and would at the very least provide a basic direction of travel. The watch works very well with its large face it's easy to read even in low light conditions. For me though the most impressive feature for the survival watch is a flint and magnesium flint rod and this is because it's so easy to use and it works very well. Having a fire starter on your wrist could make the difference between life and death so I recommend the survival watch. Order yours at www.survivalwatch.com Nigel at hunters-knives.co.uk is offering you dear listener a 10% discount on his range of knives. He's also the largest importer of crossbows into the UK. So to get your code simply your discount, simply use the code PREP10 at www.hunters-knives.co.uk. The Snug Pack Sleeper Extreme Review. Now, you can tell it's the end of the year, can't you? Trying to get all the reviews in before Christmas. If you are honest, you will admit to being cold. Very cold, and excuse my language, bloody freezing. At some time during your outdoor experiences, and this whilst you were in your sleeping bag too. In fact, some people I know have come to accept a level of discomfort during a night out due mainly to the cold. I know I've felt this way many times, however, a sleeping bag I recently reviewed has changed all that for me. The Sleeper Extreme is a step up, I think, from the Sleeper Light, providing you with extra warmth on those colder nights, robust and durable, with a soft touch finish. This is an ideal in introduction to Snug Pat's performance range and comes in a manageable pack size. Great for enjoying general camping and when using using a car or a vehicle the compression sack included of course <coughs> uh, for compact carrying and it's got a left-handed zip style it measures 30 centimeters by 26 when fully compressed the temperature rating is uh, comfort to minus 7 extreme minus 12 celsius highly siliconized synthetic Fibres give a, uh, a soft touch finish and a prolonged lifestyle compared to traditional hollow fibre filled products. Mummy shape for retention of body heat and the colours available are olive, onyx and black. It does weigh 2100 grams. It measures um, 220 centimetres wide to the chest, 70 at the knee and 65 centimetres at the feet. 38 pack size, 38 centimeters pack size, um, 30 centimeters long, 26 wide. Now the temperature comfort range, as I said, um, I think is quite impressive for the UK. I've had the pleasure of using the sleeping bag many times this year. It is very well built. I think it looks great as well. And you know, uh, when in it, it works extremely well in real terms. It too does what it says on the tin. But you know, when I said it looks good, it does actually look good. Now, to be honest, it's quite bulky when in a stuff sack. But for me, and this uh, was and is not a concern, um, as it will be in my BOV, my bug out vehicle. Now, I've used it in the car, in car camping. It's really easy to get in and out of. The zip works a dream and it does not feel claustrophobic at all unlike some sleeping bags that seem to confine movement and are not nice to use. I've slept in it in a hammock and it was warm as toast and again with a generous size it did not seem to restrict movement at all. I've slept in it at home with the heating turned off and it was too warm. <laughs> I had to unzip it during the night possibly due I think to there being no wind chill factor in the house. The soft touch finish is well 
quite a luxury to be honest and simply adds to the feeling of total comfort. When in it I feel lucky. A strange thing to say I know but it ex exudes confidence in the user and it provides a great night's sleep. The Snug Pack Sleeper Extreme is for the price $44.95. Extremely good value and I know it will not let you down when it matters. Wherever you use the Snug Pack Sleeper Extreme, inside, outside, in a shelter, under a tarp, in a tent, a hammock or in your BOV, you have the confidence that it will keep you warm and in comfort. And for me, you know, that's all I can ask of any sleeping bag. You can order yours at www.snugpack.com forward slash military forward slash sleeper extreme. Or simply go to www.snugpack.com. Paracord, the survivor's friend. You know, a paracord is a lightweight nylon rope. It was originally used in the suspension lines of US parachutes during the Second World War. <clears throat> Soldiers, however, found that it's, this miracle rope was useful for more, more than parachute paratrooper missions. Since then, both the military and civilians alike have found hundreds, if not thousands, of uses for paracord. It's available by length, typically 50 to 100 feet or more, and in a variety of colours. It is also available uh, in large quantities by the spool. I mean, I've got a, a bracelet on at the moment, which has even got fluorescent thread in it. Many hikers and outdoor sports enthusiasts make a purchase, you know, survival bracelets made of several feet of paracord, which is woven into a complete bracelet that can be unravelled in the field. By the way, you will often see paracord referred to as paracord 550, and that means that it has a breaking strain of 550 pounds or more, and that is strong. In real terms, what we're saying is you could rescue somebody and pull them up uh, from, say, a crevasse or whatever, up a cliff face using one strand. Paracord can be used for many purposes, such as securing things, removing heavy debris, fixed, fixing objects, strapping things together as a harness to escape a burning building, control bleeding as a tourniquet, <laughs> the list goes on. <clears throat> One of the best things I've done with paracord, by the way, is I've made some boot laces. So, you know, why worry about your boots breaking and using paracord? Why not just put paracord in from the get-go? Now, you, you can even unravel the cord and use the individual strands, there are seven, as fishing line, uh, use it to sew on a button, use it if you break them apart as um, for your teeth, you know, flossing. Now, here are some ways to use a paracord for prepping and survival. You can, of course, secure a tent or tarp, you know, between the trees, you can hang tools from your belt or around your neck, secure things to the outside of your backpack. Make a tourniquet, secure a splint, uh, make a sling for your arm. Make an emergency belt to hold your trousers up uh, or replace broken brass strap, replace broken or missing shoelaces, repair a zipper pull. Secure your boat uh, to maybe a tree or the bank. Uh, make a tow line, double or triple up for extra strength. Uh, create a makeshift lanyard. You could make a clothesline, hang something off the ground. Rig a pulley system, make traps and snares, replace damaged or missing drawstrings in packs, bags and sweatpants, <coughs> jogging bottoms. Keep rolled up items secure or tie objects together for easy transport. You could make a rope. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to, but you could. Uh, make a hammock. Uh, make a pet lead or a pet collar, secure a rubbish ba uh, bag poncho to your bag. You know when you get the, the black bags and you put a hole in the top for your head and two for your arms. Uh, tie stuff down so it won't get blown away in a storm. Uh, how about create a trip wire, make a sh sh ha makeshift handcuffs, tie bad guys down, <laughs> tie people together on a trail so that they can keep together. Um, use it for sewing, fishing line, emergency suture material, you know, when there's nothing else available. The choice, my friends, is yours. <laughs>